Hey, Sneakers, back again today, back again, back again, in the house. Today we have a Cub OS, yeah, Cub, C-U-B, yes. Formerly known as Chromixium, but changed its name to Cub now, due to some legal requirements or something like that that went on a little while back. Based on Ubuntu, long-term release, 14.04, it aims to give you a Chrome OS, basically, feel and look. And that it does that quite admirably actually, and it does look really nice on the screen. Now, this is the latest 64 bit build, okay, and look, it's really nice, clean, and sharp. I really like that bit first. So, we go down here, down here we have files, Google Drive, YouTube, Gmail, and Chromium as your web browser, okay. Well, open up the Chromium app launcher, all you get is Chromium, the web store, because basically you're using it as Chrome OS. So, you go to the web store. Google Drive again, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, YouTube, and Google Search. And you're thinking, is that all I bleed and get? I say, no, that's not all you bleed and get, is it? No, of course not. Because it's based on Ubuntu, you actually get other stuff with it too. But strip back, of course. So if you right click the desktop, you can change your wallpaper, control panel, run a terminal command, and applications. Oh, yeah. Also, down here, we've got sign into Chromium, log out, and shut down. We'll go back to applications. <clears throat> now, under settings, there you go. There's all your Ubuntu stuff, basically. So, automatic updates, we can go straight there if you want to, shall we? Yeah, let's go have a look. Why not? Why not? I'll put my password in. And there you go. Simple as that. So, it's Ubuntu underneath at the end of the day. Okay, so we'll close that now. I'm going to right click the desktop again, see what else you get, okay? So we've done the settings. I'll go through it a bit more with you. Got your dock settings, firewall, your flash players all installed for you already. So we'll check that out in a second. In Chromium. I think we've got Pepper Flash in here as well. And you only get that on the 64 bit build now, I'm aware of, I think. Okay. So keep that in mind. But most of you who are you gonna use this will have a 64 bit enabled CPU anyway. I've been making them for years and years. Even the old single cores were 64 bit, okay? So no worries really. Openbox Configuration Manager, because basically that's what you're using to do all the bits and bobs. Screen software sources and drivers, so you can get some decent drivers to get it all up and running correctly for your system. Anyway, accessories. So you still get other stuff, you see. Applications Archive Manager. Calculator, of course. Everybody's got a calculator because we don't do maths and count anymore, do we? No. Oh, it pains me that maths in schools. Are there. Anyway, that's another one for another video, really. Under Graphics. You get an image view of blah, 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 but let me have a drink here, hang on a minute, really dry mouth. Mm. Got Indian tonic water today. Mm. I sure have. You get an image view and simple scan. And the internet, you still get a bit torrent client, which is good. You get the Chromium app launcher, which you've already seen down there. The web browser, straight into Gmail. A Google browser choice. Ooh, ah. Sign into your accounts and sign into Chromium. Multimedia, yes, you still get some other stuff that you can do stuff with, so this is one of the good things about it. It's not too big of a download either, by the way. Rosero, yes, standard, not my cup of tea, but yeah, you can have it if you like. Parole for your media player, Pulse Audio, and YouTube. And under system, backup and restore, we like. GW package installer, check out your printers, the root da da Yeah, <laughs> I know, I'm going mad, isn't I? Snapchat package manager. Your system information, so we have to give that a quick check there. There you go. Summary, blah blah blah. There we go. Blah 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 blah. How much memory we're using? Yeah, four gigs, that's all right. Operating system, yeah, we know what that is. My name, it's me, yeah. It's my, no, it's me, honestly, it's me. Operating system, there you go. Turn it again. Sneaky cab, because that's what I've named it, by the way. Devices, memory, PCI. I don't need to go any further into that, really, do I? You should all know that. Go back down there, back to the system, just in case I forgot something. Let's run our task manager. There you go. Not doing nothing really, is it? When we think about it. It's 282, 283. All right, we haven't done anything yet. Should we do something? Okay. We'll open up our browser. There we go. Hello, browser. Oh my god. I could have gone straight to the tube there, couldn't I? What an idiot. So, this is a bit of It should all come up hunkily of the door. I'll read that later. Yeah. Read that later. Right, there we go. It's very nice and sprightly, isn't it? Mmm. I'm liking the sprightliness. Look. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Pan United draw Liverpool in the Europa League. 
Only in this world, isn't it? Only in this world. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Get rid of that. We'll go straight to the tube from here. Press it once and see what happens. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind me later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. I'll, I'll change that later. I ain't too worried about that. Let's put me in. Okay. See, it comes up straight away. Right, we just make sure it's all flashing away there. Mm -mm -mm. God, that's three years ago. Oh, God. Anyway, rolling, rolling, rolling. Solus up. We'll give Solus up. This is Solus from quite a long while ago. I like the way it's laid out, actually. As you can see, very smooth, very clear. Hunky, the old Dory. What more can I say? This video is from 2012. Now, I have got Solus on the test machine. Yes, I sure bleed and have. Because I haven't done one of Ike's stuff for ages and ages and ages and ages. Get rid of it. So, yeah, looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah, runs as you would expect it to. I mean, in, to be honest, there's nothing more to show you because you're using it as really Chrome OS. So, it's going to be a browser based thing. Now, whether that's everybody's cup of tea, I don't know. But for, for somebody who all they do is browse, check their bank and stuff like that. You might as well just give them this, to be honest with you, because they're not going to use the features of any other operating system under the Linux kernel, unless you give them a real strip back pup or something like that for a real old machine. Now, bearing in mind, you can still get 32-bit for this, but everything is really going to 64 now. I think eventually you'll see no more 32 bits coming in the, the mainstream. You'll still get to get puppy. I still do 32 and stuff like that, and some of the other smaller distributions. And the more obscure, obscure I'll do that again. The more obscure ones that I actually review, like some of the ones from at least in Europe and that. But hey, hey, who cares? So Cub OS, very, 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 very nice. I'm just not going to rate it because we're not going to... Nothing to rate, really. It's nice. It does what it says on Letting. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.